What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Guys, today, since it's the quarantine, we uh, had a special episode that we're going to do. Um, I have my good buddy, Mr. Zachary Paddett. Say hello, Mr. Zach. What's up, guys? Yeah, so uh, he's he's in it at his place and I'm in mine. So the quarantine kind of got us locked down. But we want to do an episode because there's a lot of been there's been a lot of things that's been happening recently. <laughs> and uh, I thought it'd be fun to talk about it. So first up on the chopping block today is Mr. Kyle Larson. If you guys do not know who that is, this is a uh, NASCAR racer who uh, he has. He was like rookie of the year in like 2014. He won um, like six cup points or something like that. This dude, this dude has some accolades, right? This dude's pretty good. Well, uh, there's a clip that <laughs> of my man during the iRacing event that kind of went viral, and it it's 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 shocking. Let's uh, let's take a listen. You got me. You don't hear me at all. I can see it. You can't hear me? Hey, nigger. Wow, pig. Kyle, you're talking to everyone, bud. Yeah, hey, we heard that. Ah, that, yeah, that, golly, that, that was kind of brutal. I don't, I don't know if... <laughs> Oh, that's cringe. Okay, so Mr. Patty, you've been <laughs> you've been of the fellow white congregate. <laughs> what's your what's your take on this? Like what when you when you hear that, like what what kind of goes through your mind? I, I'm kind of with the guy in the in the screen there. He's like, what? Like your first reaction is like no, like did he just say that? Like like you, you don't think it's not a word that you typically hear, especially coming from someone who is not like a, you don't hear it from a white guy or, or he says he's Japanese American or anything like that. You definitely don't hear it from them. So when you do, you're like, ooh, with the hard R too. Yeah, that's what got me. The hard R. Like, okay, I, I can't again, I get it. I understand, like, all right, well, you know, you're with your buddies, you're playing a video game, blah, blah, blah. And and it if you know guys, if you guys play video games, you know anything about video games, you know that online anything goes like people will say just the off the wall most disrespectful just random stuff simply because they can right because you're behind a computer screen like they don't know you they've never met you you're you're essentially anonymous and so you can say whatever you want to say um and so my man got caught slipping he didn't know he was they were streaming live to twitch and that's that's the funny part to me it's just like man that oof, oof. even like when he got caught it was like, oh, we're live caught that he kind of shut down. He was like, "Oh, dang! Well, that's is." And then he did an apology, and so we're gonna we're gonna take a listen to his apology real fast. Yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, you know, last night I made a mistake and said the word that should never ever be said, and um, you know, there's no excuse for that. You know, I wasn't raised that way. You know, it's just an awful thing to say, and I feel very sorry for my family, my friends my partners, the NASCAR community, and especially the African-American community. You know, I understand the damage is probably unrepairable and you know, I, I own up to that. Um, but I just wanted to let you all know how sorry I am. And, you know, I, I hope everybody is, is staying safe during these crazy times. Thank you. It's like when, when I hear that, I, I mean, okay, I hear the sincerity in his voice. I do. I, I hear it is there. But at the same time, it's like, yo, dude, you don't really, <laughs> you don't, you don't really get a a pass, homie. Like you, I get it. You know, it's a PR yeah, thing. Sorry, you need all be good. Right. It's it's a PR thing. It's like, okay, well, I did this. My agent and all them probably like getting on to me. Already lost. It's Hannah for the sponsors. The sponsors started dropping out. Chevrolet dropped out as a whole, and then banned from NASCAR or not banned, but. Uh, put on probation or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, yesterday he was fired from his racing team. Oof. That's just kind of a, a save your own butt. Yeah, that's okay. Do you feel like it? Do you feel like the apology came too late then? I mean, because that well, apology happened apo within like 48 hours. Like the apology came like less than 48 hours or, or you no, know, he got fired less than 48 hours after everything came out. Yeah, I, I think the apology, I think he posted the apology. Monday, yeah, Monday. I think, yeah, Monday or two. I think that's when it said, um, 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna make sure I know. Um, on the the thirteenth. So thirteenth, yeah, thirteenth yeah, was Monday, and so I mean, and th- what the the event happened Saturday, correct? Yeah, or, probably. Yeah, probably like fr- Friday or Saturday. But anyway, still, like he he had some time to. You know what I'm saying? He had some time to realize what he did, bro. He, like, he, you had ample amount of time to make an apology. Like, literally, as soon as the event was done, you knew that, okay, dang, I'm probably in hot water right now. It's probably best if I make an apology now Before. as opposed to, yeah, as opposed to wait. Like, you waited two days, two, three days after all this had already happened, after you got, you know, basically fired and, you know, your sponsors all pulled out. You lost a crap ton of money. Now you want to give us an apology. Like, Again, okay, here's my take on it. Being black, I'm the type of person that, when it comes to like racial stuff, like I'm okay. I don't really get upset about anything. Like it doesn't. It takes a lot to make me mad. Would Would you agree, Mister Padded? Yeah, you're pretty easy going. Yeah. See, I I don't I don't get mad about much. But like when it comes to racial stuff, that's kind of like the, the fastest way for me to just be like, hold on, hold on, like I. Nice X is gone. Like the real X comes out. Well, not the real X, but like like hardcore X comes out. And like he's he's a scary person. He's he's a uh, kind of intimidating. And it's just like the thing about with me is I, my thing. Okay, my thing on the end where who can say it? I get it as a whole. Like black people, even black people themselves. Like we we really shouldn't say it. Like the word derives from negativity. The word derives from you know a negative connotation and so i feel like as black people we shouldn't say it but essentially what we've done with the word we've taken that word and we've kind of flipped it and we've made it essentially like a word of endearment essentially like we basically what happened is we took the power of that word that word had a negative power negative connotation we took that word like, okay we're not going to give you that power over us to have this effect we're going to take that word and we're going to flip it and we're going to make it a positive thing and like make it a word of like endearment like, oh like what's up man you know what i'm saying and that's that's kind of growing up. That's kind of how I've always seen it. Now, granted, I do understand the history. I do understand where the word came from and the origin. Like I understand all that, but I do understand the culture and like how we've changed that word for the better, almost. And so my thing is like, yeah, black people say it. I get it. Um, now, uh, I saw an interesting video that I was watching, and it was talking about like, can other minorities say the N word? And I was just like, I was thinking about because like we have okay, so we have a friend. I mean, we ain't gonna say his name or nothing. But we have a friend who he's a uh, he's Mexican, and he uses that word like he uses that word to me quite a bit. Well, actually, just in general, <laughs> he <laughs> he uses that word in general quite a bit. And like at first, ah oh, man, at first I was just like, ah, he's a friend. I don't want to, you know, so I don't want to make a big deal out of it. I don't want to, you know. But after a while, it was just kind of like, it kind of got annoying. I was like, all right, dude. Oh, okay. All right. Calm down. It's like, because in our group chat, like, he's all like, what's up, man? And I'm like, bro, I don't know, man. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's it's kind of one of those words that, I mean, okay, full disclosure, someone says it to me, right? If a white person says it to me, oh, it's game over. Like, <laughs> it's game over. I don't care how they saying it. Like, it's like, nah, bro, you don't, you don't get that pass. Like, when our friend, he's Mexican, says it, it's just like, a lot of times, well, at first, again, I didn't want to make it a big deal, but after a while, it gets annoying. So back to the question of can other minorities say it? My, are we talking? Are we talking the hard R or an A? Oh no, 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 you no, no. If if you're using the hard R at, in general, like nobody, you don't use a hard R, right, right. But think about it, it's like the hard R. That's that's a whole different thing. Like no, I feel like nobody in that anybody. Should ever use the hard R. Like black people, we're not gonna use the hard R. That's one, simply because of our vocabulary. We're not we're not about to pronounce all these letters. No. We're about to make it as simple as possible. We're gonna use slang. And so when you use the hard R, that's oh that when I hear the hard R, I hear racism. I hear nineteen oh five or eighteen oh five granddaddy picking cotton with a uh slave master on a horse with a shotgun telling them to hurry up. That's that's what I hear. That's what I hear in my head when I when I hear someone say the hard R. But it oof. See so yeah, the hard R no. But with the A and I get it. I a person like I said, I personally don't like 
when someone says it to me, if they're not black, I I don't use it as much in my vocabulary. Like for a long time, I, okay. So for a long time, I didn't even use the word, right? Because in high school, I did. Like early in college, I would use it all the time. Cause all I had was black friends. Like that. That's it. And so, but when I started came around like different types of friends and like you know padded and and other people was like, okay, well I didn't have that in my vocabulary simply because one. They didn't have it in their, their vocabulary. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not about to say this word around them, make them feel uncomfortable. And then after a while, you just kind of, you know, it just kind of becomes, uh, you get used to it. You don't, I got used to not saying it. So, um, but when our friend came around, I don't know, he just trickled something. It's like, man, it just trickled down. And like, I didn't use it like heavily like that. I will only use it when I'm addressing, when I'm talking to him. Like I would never like use it like when I'm talking to Pat or something. Or, or when I'm talking like our other friends, but when I talk to him and he would say it, like I would address back to him. I said, "Yeah, I had never heard you say it until." until yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy because like I I remember the first time that <laughs> I I don't know if it was the first time, but I remember I had said it, and I, I was talking to our friend, and he was like, "I never heard X say it until you, you know, until you said it." Blah blah, and I'm like, "Oh dang, I actually I've never said it before around you know this group of friends." And so, okay, when you when you first started hearing me and Javi say it, what what kind of went through your mind? I don't know. So there, I guess I didn't pay attention to it because, like, I mean, I, I like I didn't catch on until I guess he started doing it like more often, and then I was like, oh, like, dang, like, I guess he rubbed off on you. <laughs> and then, um, but like, it doesn't really bother. Like, he never bothered me to hear it say like because, like, I mean, I have you know black friends and black coworkers and stuff, and they say it all the time. It's like so it never bothers me. Like they like some of them will, like say it to me, and like it doesn't. Like it doesn't offend. Like you said earlier, you said when you were running to friends, you don't want to like weird them out. Like to me, it doesn't weird them out. Like I'm not the one saying it; they're the ones saying it. If they feel comfortable saying it, with it, go ahead. So I don't. It doesn't really bother me. That's fair. Okay. Question: Have you ever heard any of your family say it? My family, no. Yeah. No. Uh, like no, you don't got like a grandpa or nothing. Like your grandpa did. <laughs> your grandpa, like he used to say it back in the day. You never met my grandpa. I have met your grandpa. When I, the first time I ever came over to your house. When? When I came over to your house and we. Right, you did. Yeah, and your grandpa came over, and y'all was watch sat there and watched golf. Yeah, that's right. No. Yeah. No, your grandpa was cool though. I liked him. He was. He can. <laughs> I but I do remember like when I okay the one thing that when I first met him, the first my first like uh, impression of him. Is he came in, I remember he came in, he went, I was sitting on the couch. He came in, he went straight over there to like the cabinet or the kitchen or whatever. And he was just talking normally. He had no idea I was there. And <laughs> I remember he saw me and he kind of stopped. <laughs> and he was like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa, who comes over all the time, we live like five minutes apart. And mm-hmm. so what happens is we'll leave our, like we have like a little glass screen door. And so we'll like open the door, like leave it open because the dog likes to look out. And so um, he'll like walk in, he'll open the door. We'll be sitting on the couch, like he'll just drop by and stuff. Cause sometimes he'll like walk in, go, hello. And then like walk over to the kitchen. We got a little Keurig over there and he like loves to drink coffee or whatever. So he'll go in the cabinet, get a cup and, and put the coffee in, start the coffee. And then he'll walk to the other side of the kitchen. We have this like little bowl of like, we give our dog Cheerios instead of like dog treats cause they're healthier. And so he'll grab a handful of those and like feed them to the, like throw them in the dog has to catch them or whatever and go back and drink his coffee. And then like, Sit down, have a conversation, or do whatever he does every single <laughs> time. Yeah, man, uh, that was that was fun. Yeah, that, that was just hilarious to me in that moment. I was just like, oh. he just like he stopped. He was like, oh, who is this? <laughs> I re- I remember that now. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, that was oh man, that was funny. Dude, your family's kind of your family's so dang. Well, I don't know if I don't know. I've only been around them like once, but your mom was like, oh, I love Mama T. Um, your dad was just super, like, he was just tired. Like, he was just, I just want to chill. Uh, I just want to relax. Hey, when was that? Oh, this was, this was when I was buying the drone. Do you remember yeah. when, I, when I was first buying the drone? I bought the drone in. Is that the spring? Yeah, that was spring of 2019. Okay, yeah. That was, um, oh, that was around March. It was like the middle of March. Or, oh, no, maybe April. Yeah, it was the middle of April because the middle of March is when we have spring break. It was the middle of April. So r- literally a- around this time. Yeah, pretty uh, much a year ago. Basically pretty much a year ago. 
Guys, we thank you guys so much for tuning into this podcast. This is a kind of a new thing for us. We're kind of trying it out, kind of trying different methods. Uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice one. You know, I'm a. I think this is gonna be something you guys can expect at least. Well, starting off, we're gonna be probably once a week, and then as we progress and get a little bit more into it, we'll eventually go into twice a week, and then maybe three times. We don't know. It just depends. Uh, we will be up on Apple Music. Um, sorry, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Anchor, wherever you basically get your podcast from. We will be on there soon. I'm currently in the process of looking at this, looking up like kind of how to do it. So trust me, we'll be on there soon. But for now, we're going to be on YouTube. So also, if you guys like this content, you guys know what to do. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to. I don't like being like other YouTubers. Being like, oh, he didn't like it. You subscribe. <laughs> that, that's stupid. If you guys like the video, you guys like the content, <laughs> you know what to do. You've heard that a thousand times. With that being said, guys, we're going to get out of here. We appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you.